Okay, it is one of the most famous military bases in the world, but the government won't even confirm that it exists. It's Area 51. It's about an hour northwest of Las Vegas. And now, five employees breaking their silence about the clandestine facility. Author and investigative journalist Annie Jacobson wrote about the men for this week's LA Times magazine. This is fantastic, Annie. I, I'm so excited to talk to you. I've got to tell you. Uh, let me start off with the fact that even Oprah Winfrey's employees have to sign a confidentiality. They can't tell anything that goes on in Harpo. So how is it that these employees are able to talk about Area 51? Well, I have the great fortune of working on a book for Little Brown about this exact subject. And I've been working with these gentlemen who I profile for the Los Angeles Times Magazine about their stories because the CIA has recently declassified one of the major programs that went on at Area 51 during the 1960s. It was called the A-12 ox cart. It was a plane that was so technologically advanced for its time, people often mistook it for a UFO. This is, this is amazing. Okay, so when you had an opportunity to speak with them, I've got to ask you, what was your first question? Are there aliens? <laughs> Did you ask that one? <laughs> well, I, I actually came in it more from a historical and scientific standpoint. I've been working with the physicist named Edward Lovick, who actually is called the grandfather of stealth technology. And he worked on stealth. That stealth right. is what makes an airplane invisible. Mm -hmm. And he was doing this back when Eisenhower was president. And so stealth has been around a lot longer than people think. They associate it with the SR-71 Blackbird. Right. So I had already had quite a bit of like scientific information in working with Lovick that when I began to interview the other men, um, we, we actually had a lot of fun joking about some right. of the UFO lore because, uh, boy, is that really a big story well, to so many Americans. It's a big mystery. Obviously it is. I mean, the scientific uh, conversation, I'm sure, is a wonderful one, but you're looking mm -hmm. at right. movies and books, a whole cottage industry made off the fact that people believe that there is something that's happening or has happened at that site that would answer so many questions about other life forms. But, you know, it's a great enigmatic question that people ask, and they should, they should continue to ask it, and here's why. Many of the projects that go on at Area 51, remember, they're all black operations. They're classified right. top secret until the CIA declassifies what they want to declassify. And so many of those situations are actually spun from little bits of fact. I'll give you an example. A lot of UFOologists believe that Area 51 is connected to other military bases is across the country by an underground tunnel. Yeah. Well, for example, one of the uh, engine, one of the radar experts that I interviewed, T.D. Barnes, he worked on a project next door to Area 51 that actually had a above-ground tunnel, right. but they all worked underground. So you can see, you can imagine sort of some guys at a bar in Vegas perhaps <laughs> hearing a pinch of this right. and spinning it into a big story. Well, you know what? And the list goes on. The li go ahead. You said the list goes on and on. I bet it does. Well, incredible get for you, Annie. Thank you very much. I can't wait to read much more of what they have to say in the future. Thank you. Thank you.